The philosopher Plato once said, music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. Music has always been a big part of my life. To create and to perform music connects you to people countries and lifetimes away. It connects you to the people you're playing with, to your audience, and to yourself when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm bored, when I'm stressed, I listen to and I create music. When I was younger, I played piano. Later, I took up guitar, and as I started high school, music became a part of my identity. I was in every band, I was involved with every musical fine arts event. Music surrounded me, it made me who I was, and it gave me a place to belong. When I was younger, I remember walking down the hallways of my school, and I would tap rhythms to myself on my leg or with my hands or tapping my teeth. It was a nervous habit, and I was always nervous. I think I liked the repetition of the rhythm. It was calming. To this day, I find myself tapping rhythms sometimes. Later in high school, I started music theory. It was the best class I've ever taken. We were learning about music, things I didn't know, like theory and history. It was a class where we basically just sat and listened to a song and talked about what it meant to us, analyzed it, and figured out what made it tick. And every Wednesday, we did something called rhythmic dictation, and I was pretty good at it. Our teacher would give us an amount of measures and a time signature, and then he would speak a rhythm to us, and we would have to write it down with the proper rests and notes, like this. Ta ta taka taka ta ta taka 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 taka, and I loved it. The simplicity of the rhythm, a basic two to four measure line, and yet each of them almost told a story. Like they had so much potential, and all you had to do was add a melody. Rhythms set a foundation for melodies and harmonies to play on top of. It gives structure and stability. Music has these parts, melody and harmony and rhythm, just like our lives. Where music has rhythm, we have routines and habits, things that help us to remember what to do and to stay on track and to just keep going. And you may not notice it, but it's always there. And it may seem simple, it may seem dull by itself, but it gives tempo and heartbeat. And then things in your life add on to it, like your friends and your family, and anything that creates a harmonic structure in your life, in your song, like harmonies and ornamentation, and anything that makes it polyphonic, and that create beautiful chords and cadences. And then there's you, you're the melody, and you play on top of everything else, on top of the rhythm and the beat, and things may change and develop, but no matter how much we change, we're still the same people. Throughout a song, melodies change, but it's still the same song. No matter what you do, the rhythms are still there, the tempo and the heartbeat. Until I left and I went to college and everything disappeared. When I first arrived at university, I felt lost. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I loved it and it was great. But other times, I felt like I'd been left alone to fend for myself. It's like I'd been taken out of my natural environment and put somewhere new, where the harmonies and the rhythms had gone away, and it was just me. Silence and my melody. 
And then even that began to waver. Because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have any chords to structure myself or a beat to know the tempo. And then I began to hear all these other sounds. And they were off time and off key. And the more I was around them, the more my melody started to sound like theirs. Slowly I began to lose myself. Like I was being washed away. But in the next moment, I could hear it. And I could feel it. And it was me. And it was different but not worse off, just changed a little. Music is my way of coping with the changes in my life. There's a beautiful connection between music and life. It can bind us to reality, at the same time it allows us to escape it. Music is something that lives inside of you. You create it, and you're created by it. Now, our lives are not only conducted by music, they're also composed of it. And this may seem like a bit of a stretch, but hear me out. Music is a fundamental part of what we are and of everything around us. Now, music is my passion, but physics also used to be an interest of mine. And the more I learned, the more I saw connections between the two, especially regarding string theory. Now, I know this is only one of many theories, but it spoke to me. So string theory, at its simplest form, is this. Matter is made up of atoms, which are made up of protons and neutrons and electrons, which are made up of quark. And here's where the string part comes in. This quark is supposedly made up of little coiled strings, and it's the vibrations in these strings that make everything what it is. Michu Kaku once explained this in a lecture called The Universe in a Nutshell, where he states, string theory is the simple idea that the four forces of the universe, gravity, the electromagnetic force, and the two strong forces, can be viewed as music, the music of tiny little rubber bands. In this lecture, he goes on to explain physics as the laws of harmony between these strings, and chemistry as the melodies that we can play on these strings. And he states that the universe is a symphony of strings. These strings dictate the universe. They're musical notes, but they make up everything we see and everything we know. They hold us together, and they make us what we are. So you see, everything is music. When I look at the world, I see music all around us. When I look at myself, I see music. My life has been defined by music. I found myself through music. Music is everywhere, and it is in everything. And it changes, and it builds, and it diminishes but it's always there, supporting us, connecting us to each other, and showing us the beauty of the universe. So if you ever feel lost, stop and listen for your song. Thank you.